Hey guys, it's Beth. Um, welcome to, uh, another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, so I'm going to do the Lavender Tower. That is what I decided on doing after the end of last episode. But, uh, I've changed the team around so that things, other things can get trained. Um, Raichu is just going to be here for, like, uh, the one battle against our rival. But, before we go in there, I actually have to go and pick up another Pokemon that I didn't really consider until, uh, just in between the episode. So, um, this will take just a small moment, so I will be right back, uh, as soon as I encounter one. So, um, see you in a minute. And this is what I was looking for. So I found out there is actually a way to have Onyx evolve in this game, so... Um, I thought that would probably be very useful in both the Psychic Gym and the Poison Gym. So, I'm just gonna head back and pick them up right now. Okay, I expected that to actually just kind of go into the ball instantly. I've also decided on what Eevee, uh, Eeveelution we're going to get, but that's going to be a surprise, um, that you'll see possibly later in this episode. Okay, I don't want- this onyx should not be giving us as much trouble as it realistically is. Um... I might honestly just cut until I can catch it. It might take a little bit. I'll throw one more ball, and if it doesn't immediately get in, I will cut the episode until it's captured. Alright, be right back again. Okay, genuinely that took, like, next to no time at all. So, I guess it was a bit of a waste to cut, but it's okay. Okay, so that is now on our team and ready to go. Alright, just a moment, I'm just going to... Eh, actually, yeah, I think I need to get moves for Onyx really quickly, so I'll be right back. Okay, I got some moves for Onyx, but I also realized he's level 15, so I'll honestly just grind him up off screen since realistically it would take too long for, it would take too long to grind them up to be on a usable level, especially since it has really low stats right now compared to the rest of the game. So for now, Kadabra's back on the team. Alright, let's take on our good friend Jurl. Th this is the most disrespectful thing that Jurl really does, which is fight in a cemetery. Which is not a good thing at all, but still honestly could be a lot worse. Actually, no, it can't really. It is pretty much as bad as it can get. And I thought it's a good, good enough excuse to use Talia because... 
Natalia hasn't gotten to be used as Raichu yet, so thought it might as well. Okay, execute. So this is the first time we're going to be able to use Ziggy in battle. So I, I taught it Shadow Ball. And that is why we are going to essentially just lead with Eevee this entire uh, area because it will not be able to get hit by any of the Pokemon and it will be able to do super effective damage back. Since Shadow Ball is a physical... <sighs> really? It shouldn't go into effect until the next turn if I have to do it in that turn. I was gonna say Shadow Ball would probably be a one-shot because... Um... It's a physical move in this game, and Kadabra has no HP and no defense. Okay, and I looked it up in between, uh, like, cuts. Graveler is going to evolve into Golem at 37, which is a bit late in my opinion, but... It's not unreasonable. Okay, um... So we're going to swap out Talia after one little thing. There we go. Ghastly female, just what I wanted. Okay, wait. It would probably benefit if I actually put it to sleep before trying to catch it. Okay, someone's on a motorcycle outside. That's new. Jeez. This ghastly is low level too. I guess it can be in our party, but I'll probably have to grind that off screen too. Ma'am, please just get in the ball. I don't have anything that I can hit you with that you won't die from. Okay, there we go. And I technically have another Pokemon named after the same character, but I just happen to name uh, both after the same character for some reason. The names kind of just came about on their own. Alright, so this is going to be another cut. Um, really giving myself a lot of work with editing now, huh? Okay, so everything is good now. Um, I gave Toga her new moveset of Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. Um, 
which will probably be pretty good. I might even get rid of Shadow Ball even though it is stab at some point because the attack stat just isn't there. Either way, now we are just going to go through and, um, sorry, we're just going to go through and go through the tower, really. My back really hurts and I have no idea why. Okay, I'm now worried about Spite because I only have so many Shadow Balls on Ziggy. Oh, I could have gotten a level 18? Okay. If I run into like a Haunter or something, I might catch that and replace our Ghastly with it. Because I know you can run into Wild Haunters. But I think those are on the higher floors. I think I got the absolute lowest level Ghastly I could. Wow. So this is definitely a creepy part of the game because genuinely everyone is actually possessed. Like, that's pretty terrifying. Oh no. Please don't. <sighs> really, I don't have full heals. I can't. Does curse even affect normal types? Ziggy! Okay, apparently it does. Ziggy, please. Please snap out of confusion. I don't think you have access to full heals yet, so... I can't really do anything. I wonder... Hmm. No, you're not supposed to do this before the rocket base because you can't do it before the rocket base. Huh. I guess it's just weird level scaling. Isn't there one of these, um, one of these Chandlers says, give me your blood, doesn't she? I think it may have been, like, censored in Fire Red and Leaf Green, but... I know in the original red, blue, and yellow they had some- someone said give me your blood, I'm pretty sure. Honestly, please continue using curse. That'll be super good for me.
Why is Ghost a physical type in the first place? Like, you think that would be a type that you immediately make special because ghosts are non-corporeal? Right? Like... Oh, great ball. That'll be useful if I run into, like, a haunter in here. Ghost no qua. It's weird. It's weird seeing like very English names like Paula in a game that's so very much based in and around Japan and like that culture. You know? Okay. Yeah. I'm just not even going to. I'm not going to bother even playing with that. Confusion is just too annoying to deal with here. I'm not going to train up Ghastly until I'm done the tower. Because, like, I might actually do grinding in the tower, um, in between episodes, because, like, it's very consistent with how much XP you get. You shall join us. Okay, that's also not an ideal thing to hear. Um, but because of how much grinding I might need to do for some of the things, um, it might be better to, like... Uh, just wait and see if, like, I can get, like, a shiny ghastly or haunter. And, like, uh, dang, I'd want to play through with that, but I can actually get a Gengar in this version, so... I don't know, because haunter has a way better shiny than Gengar. Zombies. Are there? Where? Well, I mean, in the manga, yes, but... Not in the games. I wouldn't even classify there being a zombie Pokemon yet. Probably because zombies in nature are too... They're too grotesque, really. Like, zombies have become, a, like, a regular cultural icon now, but, like, when they were introduced, they were terrifying. Because it is a human. It, is, it was a person, like, a real living person who died, and now they are back from the dead and are just a monster without a brain. No, we are not playing this game today. We are not playing the confusion game. I wonder if Ghost was made to be physical because they wanted to have a better counter to Psychic type, but then they just didn't program in any actual Ghost type moves. They had Lick and Nightshade, and that were the only moves that you could get for Ghost type in Gen 1. I always thought how, like, the animation for Curse, like, especially as a kid, I thought that was terrifying. 
Because that is like a voodoo curse of like driving a nail into yourself. Like, jeez. That's pretty extreme. I'm so glad they have this purified zone just in the middle of... <gasps> Cubone! I completely forgot you could encounter those here. Um, yeah, I'm really glad they have the purified zone. That way you don't have to keep running all the way back to a Pokemon Center. Even though I have Dig. Could just use that, but okay. Um, no, I don't need to throw Pokeball yet. I need Sleep Powder. Like, okay, look at the Cubone skull. That is 100% just a Charizard skull. I mean, it matches perfectly. Like, the ears, the snout, it, it's a Charizard skull. There is, like, an official Pokemon card where you can see a bit under Cubone's skull, but... It's... Th there's a very popular, like, fake image of Cubone without the skull. And it does just look like Charmeleon, but... I mean, realistically, it is just a Charmander with a Charizard skull. You know, I think I should probably start buying Great Balls because this is kind of getting ridiculous. Why? Why do you insist on being difficult? There's no reason for it. Cubby. There we go. Yeah, give me all your all. Yeah, that that used to be blood. Give me all your blood is what it's it used to say. Does everything have to be confused, Ray? Does everything have to be confused, Ray? I guess I am sort of forcing them to use it since I am using a normal type. Oh, that one, never mind. I thought it would, I, yeah, give me blood. Look at that. I guess they didn't censor it. Wow. I had no idea. I thought that last one was the one that, well then. Why would ghosts want blood? They're not vampires. Why do they want blood? Oh, I think I'm now destined because they've already used curse, they're gonna- yep. Didn't even get to finish the sentence.
Oh my gosh. Please use curse instead of confuse, right? You. I just want to train this dog. Cat. I'm not entirely sure what Eevee is. It's a friend. That's what it is, realistically. Please. Just thank you. God, by the end of this, it, Ziggy better be immune to confusion. You okay? I feel anemic and weak. Isn't like the Kiki Ki supposed to be like the the Japanese very scary laughter thing? Like I, I think that's like Welcome to Confuse Ray the video game. Okay, hopefully, please just use Curse, do not use Confuse Ray, there's no reason. What does something fell out mean? My hair didn't fall out, it was a malevolent spirit. What? I'm sorry, I'm confused by what they just said. Rare candy. Cool. So I guess as soon as I get to level 29 with, um... Yep, actual ghost time. Okay, I went into Lavender Tower without a self scope as a kid, um, so all the ghastlies looked like this at the start, and it was terrifying, because I played this game when I was... Well, I think I was five. Because uh, earlier than that even, I, like whenever I was in kindergarten, because I learned to read by playing this game. My brain became sentient while playing Pokemon Leaf Green, and I started being able to read. I don't understand how it happened, but it's how it happened. <laughs> Marowak is very strong. Honestly, I think it's unfortunate that they patched out the polka doll thing for getting past um, the Marowak because um, 
realistically, that makes the most sense. Like, you'll give the ghost a doll to help it calm down as opposed to just hurting it. I think even this will confuse me, won't it? Not if it doesn't get the chance. not even give you the chance to attempt to confuse me. Okay, um... I'm going to swap Ziggy for Carrie. Because I have... I have a rare candy to get it where it needs to be. Drowsy, um, I guess Sally is one of the better things we can send out for Drowsy. You know what, at least it's just poison and not confusion. When does... I completely forget when Graveler learns Earthquake by level up. So, after this, there's a few things I can do. I can go directly to Erica's gym. I could do the Sylph Tower. Or I could uh, go down to um, Fuchsia. I might honestly go down to Fuchsia and just start grinding and picking up more Pokemon instead of just going straight to Erica. What I might do if I do decide to um, continue on and just like go down to Fuchsia, I might level up um, Ghastly and Onyx to like level 20 20 something in order to get them on par like a little bit under where we're at currently just so that they can be useful members of the team Okay, eradicate. Um, a quick attack from this might kill, so ho okay. Glad that it didn't go for quick attack. Don't fight with us rockets. You're not getting away with this. Well, I certainly already did. You came to save me. Thank you, but I came here of my own free will. 
came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I think Mayrak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow, to, follow me to my home, Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. It's like a nursery for Pokemon. Beth, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. It will help me. It's necessary to progress. Upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Okay, so. Since it is the end of the episode, um. I'm going to do one thing really quickly, and that's I'm going to reveal uh, what evolution that I've chosen for us to get. And what better place than to do it in the middle of this tower right here. So let's go down and get that rare candy. Level 30 wants to learn bite. I would like to learn Bite over Growl. And now, we use a Moonstone, and Ziggy is evolving. That's right, Ziggy is an Umbreon. And what a fitting way to conclude the episode, by having it learn Confuse Ray. Um, honestly, I won't need Quick Attack with this. So. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one.